Hey, welcome back to Wizard Tower. I've got an update of the D12 dice tutorial. For some reason, Fusion 360 updated and you're no longer able to select any of the faces when creating a sketch to, you know, extrude numbers or logos into there. So I've got an updated method of drawing it. Not my favorite method, but it works. It's, it's pretty easy too. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to create a sketch and we'll select a plane. We're going to create a polygon that's inscribed. I want to make sure we got five sides. It doesn't matter how, how big you draw it. I usually go 20 millimeters. It doesn't really matter. And then I make sure it's snapped to that point here. Click enter, finish that sketch. And we're going to go off to surface. We're going to create a patch. Select the polygon we just made and click OK. There we go. If we go back to the top view here, you see we got our, our polygon. So now what we're going to do, we want to select, select it, right click, and go to move or copy. And we want to come to the rotate. And if you don't see a copy button, make sure you're selected on bodies. I'm going to have to select it again, but now we got the copy. Click copy, and we're going to select the axis. It's going to be one of the five sides. It doesn't really matter which one. We'll just select one of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate a copy of this polygon on that angle. And what angle do we want to rotate it on? I go over to uh, Wikipedia, the dodecahedron. And if you scroll down, they got all the kind of like the equations that make a dodecahedron and all that kind of stuff. What I'm concerned about is the dihedral angle here, 116.56505. So I'll just copy that. We'll go back to Fusion 360. I'm going to paste that angle in there. Once you got in there, click enter. And there we go. We got two of the faces of the D12. Now we're going to do is select it, come over to create, we're going to go to pattern, circular pattern. We're going to, we already got the object highlighted with this side that we just rotated. We want the access. I use the, the green one. And we, got, we want to make sure it's on five. It usually starts off with three, but make sure you got five sides on there or the quantity of five. Click OK. And now we've got basically half of the D12. So we want to go back and select all, all of those, right click, go back to move or copy. And we're going to go to the free move, just the first move type. And if your pivot point is not directly in the center, sometimes I'll put it in weird locations. Just make sure you select, select set pivot. And I put it right in the middle here, right in the middle. And then click the set pivot again. And what we want to do is make sure, got to make sure that create a copy or you're just be moving it. Create copy. And then we're going to move it up. So on the Z axis, we're going to move it up. And then we kind of want to, we want to rotate it 180 degrees. 180. And we'll just click OK. Now we've got two halves kind of floating above each other. I'm going to select half of them, make sure we got all six sides selected and then we're going to right click move or copy and we're going to come to this point to point option here so we're going to select the origin point is going to be you can kind of see where it would go together so we want to select one of the little points and we want to move it down to here so the other point is right there boom so now you can see that kind of it moved them together where we want it and once you got that, click OK. Now we've got our D12. It's pretty much done. We want to just select all of the, the sides. And we come up to this stitch. Click Stitch. Click OK. And there we go. We've got the D12. It's put together. Now for the ultimate test and make sure this works, we're going to create a sketch on one of the faces. And it's a, it's allowing me to select the faces. And that's, that's the most important part. So I'll select the face. I'm going to create a circle, it doesn't matter. We just want to make sure we can extrude into the face. I'm going to finish that sketch. 
I'm going to select it, extrude, go into it. There we go. Got a nice, nice circle in there. Kind of looks like a Death Star. <laughs> But it's a, not my preferred method, but it's it's pretty easy. So if you like the tutorial, please give me a like uh, and a follow. I do stream on Twitch and YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you have any questions, pop on in or leave me a comment. I try to get back to all the comments and everything. So we'll have more tutorials. Um, I'm not for sure how many more dice tutorials. If you want to see like how maybe how to 3D print them or what we do after we make the models and you know, put numbers in the faces. If you'd like to see kind of like the 3D printing aspect or pouring resin, making silicone molds, let me know. I have years of experience on making dice. So yeah, but until next time, was out.